Hi, I'm Steve Halliday, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a perfectly good RC car and rip it apart and take out the RC part of the RC car in preparation for creating your own autonomous vehicle. Before we actually start tearing apart the car, it's probably wise to make sure that the car is in good working order. It's important when hacking to always work from a good known state. So the first thing that we'll do is to check to make sure that the motors on the RC car are in working condition by just putting in the batteries and making sure that the motors cause the car to turn and to go forward and backwards. The pieces that we'll want to keep from our RC car include the mechanical mechanisms, the motors for both steering and powering the car, and the battery case. The final autonomous vehicle will require two battery sources. One will be a 9 volt battery that will run the Arduino and then the second one will be these three AA batteries which we will use to power the motors. So the first thing that we'll need to do here is to remove the body from the car. That's done by removing two screws, one in the back here and then another one here in the front. These smaller RC cars by Newbright only have two screws holding them on, but your, your truck or car may have more screws. Just locate them and pull them out. And we see that the body comes right off. We'll put these two screws here in the body so that we don't lose them. There's the other one. Okay, and now, next thing we want to do, there's a cover over the RC component here. We'll remove that with this single screw here. And once you remove the screw from the cover, you'll also have to release a couple of clips that are a little bit hard to get off here, and you'll see them. You can locate those and pull those off. By the way, this is not a screw back here. They make it look like a screw, but it's not. So you can pull the cover off, and there's the RC components. Now, to get the RC components out, you also have to unclip those with the same clips that you remove the cover with. And you pull this off. And there's also the motor connections, which we want to leave intact. We don't want to cut those wires. Um, let's see, I guess we need to squeeze the clips here. So let's see if we can get at them here and squeeze the clip. There we go. Unlatch it and then pull it off. And the front motor for the steering works a similar way here. We'll squeeze the clip and pull it off as well. There we go. We see here that we have the wires to the battery connector still on the board. We'll remove those here in a minute to reuse those. What we'll do then eventually is we'll put the Arduino here in this position where the RC mechanism was and the motors will hook up to the motor shield as we talked about in the previous video. There are a few parts that we're going to want to scavenge from the RC components. Namely, these two connectors here for the motors. We'll reuse those as well as the battery leads from the battery compartment. One of the battery leads broke off already so I'll just unsolder the other one here and we'll use those to interface with the battery compartment. What I'll do is I'll just heat that up so and there you saw it fall off and I'll just set that aside for reuse later. Next I'm going to heat up the motor connectors here so I can remove those. Here's one, okay. And then I'll grab the other one here. Let's see, where is it? Ah, there it is. Okay, so I'll heat these leads here. Sometimes these get a little bit stuck and a little bit hard with only two hands. So I'll just knock this thing off that way. There, it came off. So I'll reuse those in the autonomous vehicle going forward, and I'll show you eventually how we'll use those in future videos.